All right, Kevin, thanks. Well, if the storm last night didn't flood your basement or cause any other problems, consider yourself lucky because it definitely helped our trees, flowers, and lawns. But how much? Good question. A lot of people asking. New specialist Jed Bull spoke with a hydrologist about the difference a downpour can actually make here. Jed, what did you find out? Yeah, Mike, you know, when it started to rain last night, I'm sure many of us ran to the windows and just cheered it on. This historic drought has stressed our state in so many ways that we're all hoping for a drought buster or at least many more drenching storms. We're pretty far in the, in the hole when it comes to how much precipitation we need to get out of the drought. Which is hard to believe after all of this rain and flowing water pounded Utah this week. Hydrologist Jordan Clayton is the NRCS Snow Survey Supervisor in Utah. He tells me Utah is 10 inches behind on precipitation this water year. But if you add that to last year's deficit, we were 17 and a half inches in the hole before the storms this week. The precipitation we just received two days ago and yesterday in the state of Utah did help a little bit. We bounced up about an inch at a statewide level for precipitation. Now roughly 16 inches behind average precipitation. But we'll take the precipitation we can get, and these little events here and there, like the monsoonal rain, does help. However, the number one way that we're going to get out of the drought is from above average snowpack. A drought buster from a series of summer storms is practically impossible. We could potentially get a drought buster winter. It would be statistically unlikely. Um, but it would take a really, really extraordinarily deep snowpack to have this turnaround in just one winter. More likely, Utah needs multiple seasons of above average snowpack. Because what we're looking at now isn't just a soil moisture deficit or a precipitation deficit or a reservoir deficit, it's all of those things. That's why we're at 100% of the state in either extreme or exceptional drought. Many streams are at record low flows. By the end of the summer, reservoir storage will be around 40%, down from 55% this week. If we don't get above average snowpack this coming winter, it will get worse. We could be looking at a uh, reservoir capacity at a statewide level of, uh, in the 15% range or worse wow. by the end of next summer. And that's why it's so important to turn off the outside watering when we get a storm like we've just had. We should all skip our next watering day so that we can keep that water in storage because we are going to need it. Guys? Based on what Kevin just said, we are going to need it.